Hey everybody, I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to teach you guys about the very basics of just getting started with DMX lighting. And so in this example we're just going to take a very basic DMX console, this Obey 40 from Chave. We're going to take these two cheap no-name lights that honestly don't work very well and we're going to make them work together. So here's how it works. The first thing we want to do is get power to everything, okay? So I've already done that. I've got my console plugged in here via the wall wart power supply, and I've got my lights plugged in here as well. Now, these lights, and some lights you may run into or use, have power linking. So I can actually come out of the first light and into the second. Now, the next thing to do once we've got power hooked up is we need to hook up DMX signal. Now, DMX is the signal that lighting controllers use to communicate with lights. So, just going to go ahead, I've got a couple cables here. These are a 3-pin DMX cable. There's also 5-pin. That's the other type you'll see out there. 3-pin and 5-pin are interchangeable. Um, they, you can convert with just a simple adapter. They run the same data format between them. So, I've got my first 3-pin cable plugged in here to the console. DMX output. We'll just plug that into the first light, DMX input. Now, grab another cable here, perfect. And we're going to take that out of the DMX output of the first light. And go ahead and plug that in the DMX input of the second light. Now, there's a few things we need to do before we can actually get light out of these LED fixtures. The first thing we need to do is address our fixtures. With these particular fixtures, I'm going to use a handy screwdriver because they have dip switches, the old style way of addressing fixtures. Now, most newer fixtures you're going to buy are going to have an LCD screen with a menu, and you can find in the manual how to get into DMX address mode, and then you'll just be able to set the number of the address where you want the fixture to come up. Now, with these fixtures, I'm using this basic console here, and it's a three channel fixture, okay, because there's red, green, and blue LEDs. So my first fixture is going to be at one, it'll use red, green, and blue, and my second fixture will be at four, red, green, and blue, and it will take up four, five, and six. So to address these, I'm just going to walk over here. On this first fixture, I'm just going to take the first switch and put it in the on position and leave the rest of the nine dip switches off. Now, this particular fixture has a 10th dip switch. The 10th dip switch puts it into DMX mode. On my second fixture, it's a little more complex. You see, I need to set it to address 4, which is not the 4th dip switch, okay? How dip switches work is you go ahead and every dip switch is a doubling of the number before it. So dip switch 1 equals 1, 2 is 2, 3 is 4, the 4th one is 8, then 16, 32, 64, etc. And when you're setting an address, you add up all the numbers together that you've come with. So, I'm just going to bring up number 3 here. Sometimes you get two of them on accident. That's okay, you just put them back where they were. Perfect. Now that we've got that addressed, we just need to select the first fixture on the console which is right here, and the units jump to where the faders were set. So I'm going to bring the faders down, and I can show you now that fader 1 is red on the first fixture, 2 is green, and 3 is blue. Similarly, channel 4, 5, and 6 controls the second fixture, so we can literally have two different colors here on our two different fixtures, and that is really the basics of starting with DMX lighting, just getting it hooked up to a console of some sort, whether you use this console or another one, getting your lights hooked up, and being able to get control. So if you found this interesting and, and you are beginning with DMX lighting, 
I've actually got a free guide for you on how to begin with lighting in your particular circumstance. So this is guide is going to show you how to get started with lighting, no matter what type of lighting you do. And it's over at learnstagelighting.com. So hop over there, click the link that's on the screen. And I want to get that free guide in your hand. And I also want to get you to subscribe here on YouTube so you don't miss anything from Learn Stage Lighting. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next video.